Hi everyone, welcome back. In this series, I'm going to show you how to integrate or embed this tax subscription API into your project or client projects. So, what is subscription API? According to Paystack documentation, as you can clearly see here, the subscriptions API lets developers embed recurring billing functionality in their applications without having to manage the billing circles themselves. Merchants can easily create plans and charge customers automatically on a recurring basis. So if you have services that is being subscribed to, then you can allow Paystack to help you manage the billing circle. So here is how we can easily set up a subscription. So the step that is necessary for us to set up the subscription, the first thing we need to do is to create a plan. Then we create a subscription, we listing for subscription events. After which we will now connect our subscription API to front-end technologies. We are going to use React, Vue.js, and vanilla JavaScript and the jQuery together. So the first thing we need to do now is to actually look at how the plan looks like. As you can see here, according to the documentation, plans are the foundational building block for subscriptions. A plan represents what you are selling, how much you are selling it for, and how often you are charging for it. So you have a choice of either using Pista dashboard or by calling the create plan API endpoint. So as a program, of course, we are going to use a create plan API. So as you can clearly see, according to this type documentation, there are a few things like params that we need to include like name, interval, and the amount. So these are very, very important. So what we need to do now is to actually create our plan. So the first thing that we need to do, I want to go to the cPanel to log in first. So as you can see, I have successfully logged in into the cPanel. So the first thing I will need to do is to create a new file. So I will call the file name to be subscription and paste tag underscore sub, which stands for subscription, then underscore API dot PSB extension. So I'll click on create new file. So let me try to open the file now. You can see it here. So I'll open it. All right. So we are done now. So let's just go back to paste stack documentation page and get uh, the PHP code. So let me copy everything here. Okay. I'll copy it. And I will come down here and paste every code there. So, all right. But first thing, First thing that we need to do up here, I will say will be underscore and then we we'll terminate this and then I will come down here and type exit. Alright. So let's see the error we are having here first. So obviously we need to replace this with square bracket that is we have this here. Here, and uh, the column we have here, change this to, and what we have here, we change it to something like narrow. So we have this, just grab this and paste it. Okay, now the error is finally gone. So having done this, we've been able to successfully copy the plan. The next thing we need to do now is to add plant code to a trans trans to a transaction so what we need to do here now we need to copy this now you can create a subscription for a customer using the initialized transaction api endpoint so this is the one that i would like to use so that a customer that is coming for the first time so you can actually use the customer's uh, card details to initialize transaction by adding the plan underscore code of the plan you have created to the body of your request. This will override the transaction amount pass and charge the customer the amount of the plan instead. Once the customer pays, they will autom automatically be subscribed to 
the plan and it will be billed according to the interval and the invoice invoice limit set on the plan so now we we need to come down here and grab everything we have here so let's copy this so let's go back to our development environment and uh, now where we have uh, the s aspect so let me just copy is there uh, everything there all right so we have successfully been able to achieve that so we, we need to do some little refactoring here so let's try and do that the first thing we need to do now here now you can you change this based on what you want to actually charge so the name of your subscription then the interval so how often do you want the subscriber to pay for the services i think the options we have there we have a the daily weekly and uh, let's try to see first so we have a hourly daily weekly monthly quarterly and the annually so whichever one you want to choose if it's hourly you put a hourly here but let me just leave it as it is let's say monthly and then the amount so we are going to change this amount to be a dynamic one so instead of having uh 500,000 here so they will allow the system generate the uh, amount for the users or the customers so the secret key now is what we we need to get so let's try to get that one first so i'm going to log into my paystack account so i've successfully logged into my paystack dashboard so the next thing that we need to do is to come to api keys and the web hooks so now i will need to copy my secret key so i will come down a little bit here and uh, now copy this so that is exactly what i'm going to paste here instead of this secret underscore key here so i paste this as a for the authorization so i may go um to the s aspect first so the first thing i'm going to do here is to declare a variable we call it dollar my plan and we check in underscore and code sorry the code the dollar a response what we have here dollar response then yeah true so to convert everything to php array so let me terminate that so the next thing we need to do now just copy this variable in what we have here the, we have a plan okay this should be plan for code all right and then here now let's go back to our plan first and then here we add the, the invoice underscore limits let's just set it to zero all right so what we need to do once again our secret key we grab it and, uh, inside our the initializer code here we have a uh, the secret key here so in that to input so here once again we output this as a json we convert it to json underscore input All right so i think uh, that is pretty much what we need to do here so let's try and see what we've done so far so let me grab this uh, file name here is then another tab let me have a this chroma here and then paste this all right so you can see here now we have our checkout and authorization here now so good so let's try to have our email here let me just say email so we have a amount here we are going to make everything dynamic in our next tutorial but let's try and check out what we've got here okay so if we should copy this now here 
So let's try to remove this. So, so you can see it is trying to load now. So as you can see here, we have our subscription. So the amount to be paid now is 5,000. So if I should fill in my card detail and then I click on pay now, so everything is successful. Then we can now be redirected. Of course, we've not work on all those ones. So in our next video tutorial, we try to create the front end. So we have successfully created the back end now. So the API aspect of uh, the subscription plan and the payment uh, initializer. So we've actually done that aspect. So in the next video tutorial, so we are going to create uh, the front end using React. So that is pretty much it. So if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video